It's an application called 3D World Gaze. All right. And the idea is that it gives you a new kind of way of looking at the Earth. So if you think about it, the planet is here below us. It's a huge right. ball that Correct. we're standing on. So, but uh, normally we don't see it. But with this application, we can see where everything is in reality. So okay. for instance, if I point it down there, mm -hmm. there is the Americas. There's uh, South right. America so and North America. Of, uh, so it's, it's really down there. Yeah. From 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 here in London, mm -hmm. and then we can also see the current uh, day side and the night side of the planet. So it's uh, kind of live view. It updates continuously. You can see like uh, how the day progresses, and then uh, there is the sun, mm -hmm. like it is in reality at the moment. So it's, right. uh, it's, it's there really. So it's it's more of uh, an inclusion of the compass, uh, a live view of uh, the maps, yeah. and uh, a completely new layer of. Uh, 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 coordinates that just go into it. Yeah, it's it's this sort of a mashup of this all this information that is available on the on the internet, but applied in this sort of augmented reality kind of w uh, way. It's so a more inclusive view of uh, yeah, looking exactly. at uh, the world around you. Yeah, it, it gives you a sort of quick overview of where everything is. Right. Something that you don't get from a 2D map or mm -hmm. uh, from a 2D globe. Mm -hmm. And if, if I was to probably go into maybe a, a place here, yeah. it would also give me information. All right. Yeah, you can you can view the uh, like the info from, from cities like this. Or if you want to travel there, like virtually, uh -huh. you can just click there and then the viewpoint starts shifting toward that location. So uh -huh. now we are there. So oh, wonderful. There. So you can just look at the world from different angles and perspectives uh, and it's kind of it's really fun to explore how it, how different everything it looks when you travel to a different continent because it's really so this would be a good uh, this would be a good application uh, for aggregating a lot of things that you have there uh, yeah. you could probably have news per yeah city. we have news here from oh, Wiki news okay, we have great. also Wikipedia pages uh -huh. so uh, you can just enable that and then pages start appearing and you can tap on them and then you oh, can read them on the Wikipedia. So, uh, and of course we could add more more information sources as well, whatever I would see. be right. uh, interesting. And, uh, and how soon is this uh, looking in terms of reality, in terms of actually implementation and onto devices for consumers? Well, we have this currently on beta labs. All right. So it's there, it's free, you can download it for Symbian free phones mm -hmm. and you can just try it for yourself. Uh, and this N9 version is also will be available soon there. All right. Uh, but of course, it's in a beta stage, so it's not quite finished yet. Right. No, but that's all right. We yeah. always play with beta software. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, even at this this stage, it's, it's it's really interesting to like explore the planet in a different way. Yeah. This one, this one is fun. For and is there any uh, plans for uh, porting this to uh, the Windows platform as well? Because uh, <laughs> that's where we're uh, headed, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, we are headed that way, but of course I can't comment on, on our future plans uh, that, that far. But there is some sort of a plan as to creating it, not into into future timeline, not in terms of dates, but well, in terms of uh, the, approach. Well, the, the beta development of course continues, so it's right. disappearing. Yeah, exactly. At this moment, so, yeah. Let me go back to London.